Uvlalatok, good morning. Wanga atra nevayuk, oweva mi hurunga salikaira mi hurunga. I'm called for my namesake Nevayuk. My name is Joan Nevayuk Kane. My family comes from King Island in Mary's Igloo, Alaska. I'm really happy to be reading poems for Poets House today, uh, not just because Poets House offers us poems and poetry, but it also, through language, offers us possibility and each other. Uh, I will start by reading a poem called Anthem by the poet Jennifer Militello. Anthem. There goes woman, mind of a worm, that oyster, blister, fit of the willies, that prisoner of war. There goes woman, mouth of February, stern as a vase, lemmings at the cliff, stillness like a stain, sunlight through the blinds, reed lisp to sing. There goes woman, sieve, in her eyes, disaster, drought, fever, aircraft carrier hull. Pupils dilate, calm like hunters hunted themselves across a field in exile, standing at the well, at the center of the palm, a coin about to be dropped. Make a wish. There to crouch at the wink of light as it slips away, down into the lag of darkness, down into the animal throat. In her rot we bloom, in her word we scold. She needs us of lime and sand and salt. There goes woman, poison-lidded, string-like, thick, annihilated, knobbed. She rates herself on a scale of one to ten. Plated, her inability pours. Ruin is her ranch land of gods, branching out, drying up. Her rote quadrant, her quail crossing the road, her old sense of something at stake. Woman is a maze from which no one gets out sometimes found dead in a pig trap, sometimes living in a frying pan like a frog. Feathers like black plum whiskey. She follows the sharp line between shade and sun, a space the size of a farmer's porch a hook inches from the void, motor oil smeared along her body, brimming with garbage, apprentice to a lantern that lets her work at night, apprentice to cash and a Bible on a shelf. Her memory is a tangled market full of ripped clothes and starved vendors, a hospital, a warehouse of discarded weaponry. With her wolf howl and muzzle and exposed by cuspids, with her insistence on temperatures and punch of the clock, with no darling and cannot look. Leprous as a wither, suffering underwater, none of us take on the role of daughter, tannin thick in a bottle brown lake. Back when whispers were rationed like mercury, dripped and hardened in a tooth. Back when horses' footing loosened and slipped. Back when questions were carried by the scruff of the neck. Her days are full. Her days are hands rifling through an airport bag like the hands of a magician pulling a rabbit from a hat. Here comes woman, a grab of dander taken from the wind. None of us were heavenly, stalled in that ravine. So again, that was a poem called Anthem by Jennifer Militello. I will now read a couple of new poems. Um, and the first two are in a series uh, called After Anchorage. This is the first one. After Anchorage. Told to put a light in my lamp, I turned from a daughter's work to take a tabular rock in hand, then struck as hail would strike, as a man who has grown sick of his wife will scrape and grind as if he no longer hells infants worldward in their blood rush, hollowing a cup to hold the oil I would otherwise have swallowed. I trust in nothing near, hungering for the light of the leaf as it unfurls, tending what I can, beguiling none. I tangled my neck in tresses, cutting the necks from my dresses, snarling what I knew, what I know I learned down through my dirt floor. I could have burned the smear of bear tallow I once felt forced to eat on an arm of the sea whose waves but rot their white across and up into the wind, when what should harbor winter? now darkens down to parch. Um, the second poem in the sequence is either called After Anchorage One or 
after Anchorage I. After Anchorage I had read the ash, the scoria, their slippage. There rose no world, there rises only islands. So then we went away into the east to wait until the stars began disappearing, when at last we could ignore the natter of what, during the last drought, proved to scare the calves we heard only as noise as through heat through the door on a train. A refusal, last time I slept, to dream of death. Instead, I dreamt of trammeling pasque flower, of having swam backward across the lake. Um, finally, I'll close by reading uh, one of the poems that's coming out in a chapbook by a local micropress uh, called Staircase Books. Um, it's coming out in June of 2023. And this poem is called Don't Run Out. Don't Run Out. Real and white as snow, have they forgotten starting over and over? The swan crossing with the dark tide southward to the sound. Not too far off, firework and blast of something hard to reach and harder to escape. Now, remembering how, without him, a woman's quarrel, it passes into a quarrel with no one. Ilaranimin, thank you again. I'm Joan Navayat Kane, happy to have read a poem by Jennifer Militello, the Mighty Poem Anthem, and also happy to read some new work and, um, and a new poem from a, the next chapbook that's coming out from Staircase Books, and really thankful to Poets House for continuing to offer us a chance to connect, and really looking forward to returning there virtually or in person as soon as we can. All right. Thanks again, Ilranimin, and I wish everyone the best poems and good writing. Thanks.